Hi there, it's Tara Wright at Little Wings at Work, partnering with Hand to Mind for the Teach at Home curriculum. Today is Kindergarten Math, Week 5, Day 4. Today we're going to be solving addition and subtraction word problems. Let's get started. Today we're going to talk about adding and subtracting, but we're going to not be talking about them as separate like we've been. We've been practicing just addition or just subtraction. Now we're going to talk about seeing them together. What does it mean to add? When someone says to add, they mean to combine. They want you to take two parts and put them together. Look down at your fingers. Put up one hand and the other hand. That's two parts. Five and five. Not clap your hands together. What is five and five? Ten. Yes, you just added. What does it mean to subtract? Subtract means to take away. Put up five fingers and take them away. How many fingers are left? Yes, zero. Five minus five is zero. You just took away. Now, before we get too much further, I want to make sure that you have some items that you can use to help you add or subtract. You just need 10 items. If you need to pause the video, that's fine. For example, you could grab five cars, five Legos, five spoons, five socks, five crayons. Sorry, 10, you need 10. 10 items. If you need to pause the video, go ahead. All right, do you have your 10 items? You'll need them later. When we add and subtract, you might hear the words sum or difference. You have to be listening for those words to know what you need to do. Do you need to add or do you need to subtract? Sum means to add, and we know we're adding when we see this symbol. Can you use two fingers to make that symbol? That's the addition symbol. It tells us to combine. Five and five is 10. Now, when we look for the difference, we are going to be subtracting, which is this symbol. I'm gonna hold up just one finger to make that symbol. That's the subtraction sign or the minus sign. Here's my little reminder to remind you that you might need your little items to help you add or subtract. Let's look at this problem. Five plus two equals. What is this symbol? This is the addition symbol. We want to combine, put together. So use your little items, put down five, put down two, and then we'll get the answer. Go ahead. All right, five and two is, yes, seven, good job. Now look at this one. Five, take away two. This is the subtraction sign, which means to take it away. So you're gonna put down five items, take two away. Go ahead. What answer did you get? Yes, three. Five take away two is three. Now look at these two problems. Do they both have a five? Do they both have a two? Do they both have an equal sign? Yes, but what's different? The signs, addition and subtraction. So you have to be very careful. If you didn't look closely here, you might accidentally subtract and get the wrong answer. Always be looking at those signs. They're gonna tell you, do you put it together or do you take it apart? Let's look at this next problem. Go ahead and grab your items. Eight plus two. What are we gonna do? Combine, we're gonna add. So put down eight items and put down two more. Go ahead. What answer did you get? Yes, 10. Eight plus two equals 10. Now, what does this symbol tell us to do? Take away. You're gonna put down eight items, 
take away two. Ready? Go ahead. What answer did you get? Six. Eight takeaway two is six. Look at these problems. They look almost the same. The only thing different is that symbol. We always have to be looking to see, are we going to add or are we going to subtract? Oh, look at this one. You know what? If you need your items, that's A-OK. -okay. But these remind me of the doubles that we practice with. Also, sometimes using my fingers is just faster. So I see the problem five plus five. So I'm going to combine my two sets, five and five, to get how many in all. Go ahead and see if you can solve this one. What did you get? Yes, 10. Five and five is 10. Now let's do this next one. Again, I would probably use my fingers for this one. Five, take away five. So we have five, we're going to take away five. What answer did you get? Yes, zero. Five take away five is zero. Again, we have to pay so close attention to those symbols. They tell us exactly what we need to do. Are we gonna combine or are we gonna take away? Another problem, four plus three. Go ahead and put down four items plus three. Go ahead. What answer did you get? Yes, seven. Four plus three equals seven. Let's try the next one. Four, take away three. Go ahead. What answer did you get? Yes, one. Four take away three equals one. Today, you're going to get to do this really fun practice sheet. You're going to take a line and match it from one equation to the answer. Now, I'm gonna tell you a little secret. Are you ready? You have to pay so close attention to the symbols. Look, you have addition symbols, you have subtraction, Subtraction, addition. Remember, pay close attention to those symbols. They'll tell you exactly what you need to do. Are you going to add or combine? Or are you going to subtract, take away? Look at those words up there. We talked about those. Draw a line from the number sentence to the sum or difference. Sum is addition, combining them. Difference is subtraction, taking them away. Thanks so much for joining me. Again, Tara West with Little Minds at Work partnering with Hand and Mind. You can find additional resources at www.littlemindedwork.org or find me at www.shoptarawest.com. Thanks so much.